Here, Maxim and I will discuss main ideas of the chapter Editing face images with style gong. This discussion is a part of our survey paper Deep Learning for Face Generation and Editing. To learn more, check the links in the description and visit our GitHub repository. Style gang architecture can learn to generate images of faces in high resolution. So, can we use this architecture to edit images of existing faces? The answer is yes, but there is a number of technical issues to solve. First, let's discuss the style gang data flow pipeline and its latent spaces. While training, a random 512-dimensional vector is sampled from the normally distributed latent space Z. Then it's been transformed into a new point in 512-dimensional space called W through a multilayer perceptron of 8 layers. Each layer of the Stalygon generator contains an independent trainable fully connected layer denoted by A to pre-process and transform the 512-dimensional input vector from the W space. The output dimensionality of affine transformation layers is equal to the number of channels in the corresponding layer of the style gang generator. Thus, the dimensionality of S space is equal to the number of all channels in all layers of the style gang generator, such that we have a single modulating value per channel. Extended space W plus means that we feed unique 512 dimensional vectors into every layer of the style gang generator. Thus, the dimensionality of W plus space is equal number of layers times 512. Usually, these unique vectors from W plus space are just small modifications of a single vector from W space, plus some unique delta for every layer. In the original style gang architecture, these allocations of Z, W and S spaces in the data flow pipeline, and similar in style gang 3 architecture. A generated image can be represented as a point in any of these high-dimensional spaces. Thus, editing of a generated image happens through a displacement of a point in one of these high-dimensional spaces. But if we want to edit a face from a real image, first we need to identify the point in latent space that represents that real image. This mapping from a real image to a point in one of these high-dimensional latent space called inversion of a real image into the latent space. There are two types of editing. Editing is a movement of a point in one of the high-dimensional latent spaces, like Z, W, W+, or S space, in direction which corresponds to desired attribute like a smile or hairstyle. The problem is to find this direction. The first class of approach is based on averaging a direction in latent space correlated with the given attribute over a number of contrastive pairs with and without a desired attribute. The second class of approach optimizes a single image and requires an assessment network over the generated image, like clip or binary attribute classifier. Loss from such an assessment network produces a gradient step which indicates what direction to move the input point of the generator to minimize the loss. Let's look at that method. Interface GAN belongs to the first type of methods that search for a global editing direction in latent space W or Z of style gang. 
For example, we want to find a global editing direction for attribute smile. For that, we randomly sample in W space thousands of points, then from each sampled point in the latent space we generate an image. The generated image is being classified by a pre-trained classifier for a given attribute, for example smile. This image has a low score for the attribute smile. Therefore, we can classify this point as a face image without smile. Then we proceed with the next sample point. Using style gun architecture, we generate a new image and classify it using the same attribute classifier. This image has a high predicted value of attribute smile. Therefore, we can classify this point in latent space W as face image with smile. We repeat this procedure for many thousands of sampled points until we collect approximately 10,000 of positive and 10,000 of negative examples for a given attribute smile. Then we can use a support vector machine approach to find a hyperplane that can separate these two sets of points. The normal vector to this hyperplane is our editing direction for attribute smile. After we have found the global editing direction of attribute smile, we can take our picture, find a point in latent space W that represents this picture, move this point along the global attribute direction smile, and use this new position of our point to generate a new image with a given attribute smile. Gun space is an alternative to the previous method and offers an unsupervised approach. The method consists in sampling endpoints in W space and applying PCA to obtain a basis in W space that contains the semantic directions responsible for some attributes. By manual or automated checking of different directions discarded from PCA, it is possible to find the direction that is responsible for the attribute we need for editing. This direction in latent space can be used to move the point in the latent space. Only a pre-trained generator is required to find PCA directions. The search for directions can be done not only in W space, but also in a more disentangled space, style space. Style space based approach typically requires only from 10 to 30 positive examples. This is an important advantage, since for many attributes negative examples can be highly varied. Style space based approach utilizes the idea that the difference between the mean style vector or the 30 positive examples, and that of the entire generated distribution reveal which style space channels are the most relevant for the target attribute. We can change its activation by varying the value in the corresponding style space dimension by a certain amount, so that the generated image gets the desired attribute. The style clip offers a text-based approach to image editing which includes methods from the two classes of editing mentioned earlier. Let me remind you that in the methods of the second class you can move the latent point following loss gradients after applying an assessment model on the generated image. The clip model serves as a such an assessment model. We specify the desired attribute in text. Clip text encoder produces embedding of the text prompt and the visual encoder produces embedding of the style gun generated image. The clip model produces gradients to minimize the similarity loss in the combined clip embedding space of texts and images. The disadvantage of this method is the need to conduct computationally expensive gradient-based optimization steps for each image and attribute, because each image gets its own direction. To solve this problem, it is possible to transform this optimization process to an encoder-based one. 
for a particular attribute an encoder is trained with the same loss on Celeba HQ dataset. This encoder predicts the offsets or the corresponding coordinates for input image latent code to obtain the desired attribute. While the latent mapper allows fast inference time, it sometimes falls short when a fine-grained disentangled manipulation is desired. Additionally, the directions of different manipulation steps for a given text prompt tend to be similar. Therefore, it is possible using the clip model to search for the global directions for a number of images, following the idea of the first class of editing approach. This method makes the assumption that direction vectors in text and image spaces are collinear. To get the smile attribute, we can take the direction that allows us to get the text face we smile from the text face. In order to make such a direction global, authors apply the idea of style space, which examines channels that respond to a given text direction. This discussion is a part of our survey paper Deep Learning for Face Generation and Editing. To learn more, check the links in the description and visit our GitHub repository.